trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head, who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, are you ready to settle the score? Hey, hey, welcome into another week of Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Nose, joined as always by the freshly boosted Andy Merriweather. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Yeah, I am boosted. Uh, yeah, it feels good to be part of the the triple club, or whatever. Um, and we've got, yeah, we've got some clever people coming on. And I really need to know if there's a scientific reason why every time I've had the jab, Anna decides that's the opportune moment to whenever she finds me funny, dig me in the arm because she doesn't laugh with a punch every time. It's just jab day. Um, so there must be some sort of attraction, maybe magnetic. Who knows? Yeah, possibly. That is a mm. thing. I mean, that's deaf. That's science for you right there. So, uh, or subconsciously, she just wants to stick it to you a little bit, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, probably <laughs> all the times that I talk about her on here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's her way of getting back. Yeah. Uh, and well, you rightly deserve it in my book. So suck it no, up. Buddy. I, I appreciate that. I will suck it up. How are you doing, Matt? <laughs> uh, I am good. I am excited for today's game so we've got a themed show today it is a all geek movies since we have on two people that know geek movies backwards forwards and sideways uh we tailored a show just for them so i'm looking forward to it it should be a fun one and uh before we bring them in we'll have a fan show coming up in the not too distant future so if you want to be part of that fan show you can uh join in one of two ways you can leave us a comment over at youtube.com forward slash matt nost the more comments you leave the more times your name gets added into the drawing Otherwise, uh, you can like and retweet the tweet that I put out each week uh, promoting the show. And you can do both if you want to and just double up uh, each week. It's fine. Go crazy. We'd love mm. to have you. We just draw two names at random. So the more names, more times you enter increases your odds of getting onto the next show. We'd love to have you. And uh, uh, with that comes up uh, sometime in the very near future. So please um, get on that next fan show. And are you ready to bring in today's competitors? Yeah, I'm excited. Let's do it. All right. Uh, first up, coming all the way from the other side of the country, but ready to kick some ass. I know that much. Uh, the one and only Miss Mara Knopic. Welcome to the show, Mara. Oh, I so hate to be the one to tell you this. It's Knopic. Is it Knopic? <laughs> yeah. Son of a gun. It's a silent K. Come on. Get with the program. I will. Uh, I'll telephone my ancestors across the, the water and tell them they were wrong. <laughs> Please do. What is that? Is that Dutch? Oh, no. Um, I'm Middle Eastern and Greek. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I know. We ruined everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> Andy, by the way, as the resident scientist in the room, I can tell you that the reason that happens mm -hmm. is because of the 5G. Uh -huh. Oh, that makes a lot there of you sense. Go. <laughs> Same I got thing to happened to me when I got my now. third one, so <laughs> it's science. Dan started punching you in the arm? That son of a bitch. <laughs> that 5G. <laughs> it messes with people. <laughs> You thought um, I was going to actually tell you science things for about half a second. Oh, it was so close. I was like, there's no way she's got information on this. Yeah. <laughs> she got, she sucked you in. That's how good an actress she is. So good. Should have uh, uh, been an actor. I'll tell my parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Your competitor today is another. How can I screw up his last name? I don't know. We'll figure out in a second. Another man who knows uh, geek movies backwards and forwards and, and also a first time guest on the show. Kevin Smets. Welcome to the program. Hey. Oh, man. I hate to tell you this. The S is silent. <laughs> it's Mets. So it's, it's Kevin it's Mets. Mets. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How are you doing? Smash cancer, I'm good. everybody. Uh, Smash I'm, cancer. I'm good. Uh, I bought into it just because Andy, yes, Andy, and said it is Mets. And I was like, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling good. Uh, Mara, we've only said hi. I'm Mara and then Matt back and forth. I've never heard a last name. Uh, and then I saw the K and I was like, it's silent like mine. And uh, that's just ego right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yours is silent. Yeah. Yeah. And hers isn't. So. You get a pass. I think you get a pass because of you're not it Kanos. One of the first questions I asked Dan, though, like five years ago, I was like, how does he say his name? Is it like my name? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know one other. His name's Matt Knutson, and it's K-N. I'm like, hard K, but he's, I believe, of Dutch ancestry. Oh. That's why I asked you, are you Dutch? Because uh, I'm German, and we go silent, baby. That's what we do. We're sneaky. 
<laughs> yeah, by sneaky, I mean we run headlong into other people's countries, going, "This is ours now." Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's always worked out well. It's ended great. As if we died it twice, I think a third time could be the charm. Guys, look out for it. <laughs> Jeez, uh, planning World War Three here. <laughs> yeah, not until we get six G. You know what I mean? Then we're going loopy. Oh yeah. Um. All right, are both of you ready to play today's game? <clears throat> yes, it's Twister, right? That's what we're playing. It is. Good luck to you both. I'll spin the wheel. <laughs> zoom, zoom Twister. <laughs> right hand yellow. I don't even yellow. know why that would be a game at that point. <laughs> um, it'd be difficult, but it's all VR. So put your headsets on and we will get this started. <laughs> if they have um, VR Twister, that's crazy. <laughs> this, I'm, eventually, I'm sure. It'll One of you guys invent it, become a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a copyright infringement uh, somewhere in there. Not if you put a silent K in it. <laughs> this is the very cup, by the way, Mara. You could tell Dan this. This is the very cup that I, the Medieval Times cup, that I drank um, out of during the Champion of Champions match when it's probably the only time in my life that I'll ever say that I beat Dan Merle in a match for the Schmodown. So uh, I brought it back to hopefully bring me the same luck against against you, against his better half. Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> Dang, we're just like all shitting on Dan today. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Uh, he probably uh, doesn't remember. I would just love it oh, if off remember. screen you just saw Dan's hand come in and hand you a turkey leg to one up the medieval times cup. And be like, oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, all right. Um, if you guys are ready, we will go ahead and begin round one. Yeah. All right. Ready. Let's do it. Round one. Okay. On today's geek themed episode. Mr. Smets, you have uh, opening choice, one through five. You'll make your selection, and I will give a clue. Andy will begin playing, and when you think you know the movie that this song is from, buzz in with your name, and you're guessing the movie itself. It's worth 10 points. There's a bonus question worth five points, but we'll get to the rules of the bonus question when we come to it. So, Kevin, one through five, where would you like to start today's geek-themed show? Let's go three. Three it is. Good number, man. It's a great number. Thank you. Thank you, Mara. Um, solid number. That's solid a prime number, number is your clue to open up is adventures in babysitting. Adventures in babysitting. I saw my baby crying hard as babe could cry. What could I do? My baby's love had gone and left my baby blue. Kevin. Nobody knew. Kevin. Ghostbusters 2? That is incorrect. Ah. That is incorrect. I was going for it with the baby in the beginning. Right. Right. I got you. Oscar. Ah, yeah. uh, Norm. All right, shall I carry on, Mara? Keep going, Andy. It's all what? Mara's right now. I know the song. I can't, I can't place it, though. <laughs> dance, magic, dance. Dance, oh. magic, dance. Put that baby um, spell on Mara. me. Mara. A uh, labyrinth. That is correct. For oh. 10 points. There's so much bulge in that movie. Oh, it's come on. Yeah. That cod piece is just <laughs> chef's kiss fantastic. That's it. Um, I would love right, to see Bowie in the Ghostbusters movie, to be fair. What's that? David Bowie in a Ghostbusters movie would be excellent. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I said it too soon. I mean, he basically is Gozer in Labyrinth, effectively by costuming. See? Yeah. So I, I should get half the points, Mara. You should give me half of them. So. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'm, I'm not going to be a dick right now because I notoriously do not love the movie Labyrinth. So yeah, you're yeah. going to be invited in for this bonus question. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. You beat me to the question of whether or not you want to be a dick. So it's open to both of you. It's worth five points. No one will lose it if you get it wrong. Here is your bonus question. And once again, buzz in with your name when you think you know it. The role of Jareth eventually went to David Bowie, but was almost given to what police frontman? Who's the frontman of the police? <laughs> Neither of you? Really? I have no, no earthly idea. <laughs> uh, all right. You can't lose any points. Do either of you just want to take a guess? It's worth five points. Mara. Mara, go for it. Barack Obama. Barack Obama uh, is close, yes. but incorrect. <laughs> uh, incorrect. Yeah. Do you guys not watch um, Only Only Murders in the Building? Oh, no. I haven't seen it yet. That's uh, good. That's good. 
Yeah, that's what Dan's uh, mom said. Uh, well, yeah, I feel silly. I feel like I that was have. a backhanded compliment. Yeah, I got uh, nothing. His mom's nothing. cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the way you said it. That's what his mom said. Eh. I was like, well, oh, because okay. she knows, so of course it's cool. All right, fair enough. Uh, I'm a fan. It's good. Uh, Kevin, no guess for you? Yeah, Kaiser will kill me because I have no guess or nothing. So I will say, to be fun, uh, uh, Robocop. 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 Police, police thing. Uh, that is incorrect. The front man of the police is Sting. Really? Sting. Yes. I know. Oh, I'm blank. This is embarrassing. <laughs> um, all right. I figured that was the easiest bonus question of the opening round, but apparently it stumped both of you. You'll, I'm sure we'll know the harder ones. You'll be like, why do they know that? Yeah, in no, God, in don't God's tell. Name. Guys have been in popular culture. You're going to get made fun of for sure about this one. Oh, that's all right. Um, Why have we learned something today? We didn't know that was going to happen. There you go. <laughs> it's uh, technically geek adjacent. He was in Dune, so yeah, there's that. And there was a pug in Dune, too. <laughs> uh, all right, well, Mara, you all got right. the points on that music question, which means you have control of the board. We have one, two, four, and five. I'm actually not going to be a dick and say a number that's not one of those, which is usually what I would do. Um, let's okay. go with uh, number one. Number one, it is. Ooh, here we go. Your clue is to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Mr. Fantasy. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. I just texted this to Mara. He did. Your Mr. Fantasy is the opening to Avengers Endgame. I literally texted her this one. He did. Uh, that is correct for That's 10 so points. Funny. Nice. Dear Mr. Fantasy. Uh, ooh, it sounds like we might have a accompanying vocals here. I like this. <laughs> I'm going to do a trio. A quadro. <laughs> quadruple. Uh, I'll just do like bass notes. That's what you want from me. Um. All right, Kevin, bonus question. It is tied 10 points apiece. You can choose to go alone, but if you get it wrong, you will lose five points. Otherwise, you can open up to both you and Mara. No one will lose any points, but she can take the lead on you. So my question is, do you want to be a dick or not? Uh, I do. For the first one, I think I'm going to steal Dan's uh, thing and help him out. I'm going to be a dick every other time. So the first mm -hmm. one, I will be a dick, but the next one, I vow not to be a dick. All right, so you're a dick on this one? Going on. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, so, Kevin, only you can answer. Here is your bonus question. Robert Downey Jr. dethroned Hugh Jackman and now holds the record for the most times playing the same character across how many movies total? Yeah, have so you got to give me the total, just the number. You don't the have to exact, tell me the title. The exact number? Do yeah. the exact number, my friend. It's either um, Jackman was... Jackman's 10. No, Jackman's 9. Robert Downey Jr., 10. Oh, that is correct for five points. Nice job. I have a question, though. Yes. Uh, I'm Are you challenging me? Yes. Um, I, I want him to, to retain his points. However, I believe that um, both Samuel L. Jackson and Chris Evans both portrayed their characters 13 times in the MCU. So they would have portrayed their characters more. More. Okay. Just saying. Well, that's yeah, well, that was half in my head. I was like, wait a second. But yeah, uh, I just remember, and here's the reason I remember, because Jackman is nine, but on my flashcard, I have in parentheses 10, if you count Deadpool 2 as uh, oh, yeah. as archive footage. So in my brain, I was like, then if he's nine and he got passed by one. So thankfully for that flashcard, it helped me get the archive. But you answered the question he asked you, though, which is what yes. I, which is the main point. Which is Robert, but I, that's a good note, and I will make a notation because that's a good piece of trivia that we can use later on. Yeah. Uh, but it is Here 10. So uh, it's 15 to 10 in Kevin's favor. <coughs> neck and neck. Kevin, uh, you now have control. Two, four, and five are left on the board. Where would you like to go next? Let's go with five. Five alive. Johnny, five. Five it is. Your clue is... The way of the gun. The way of the gun. 
Well, it's a big, big city, and it's always the same. Can never be too pretty. Tell me your name. Is it out of line? If I was to be bold and say, would you be mine? Cause I may be a beggar and you may be the queen Though I may be on a downer, I'm still ready to dream Though it's three o'clock, the time is just the time it takes for you to stop So if you're lonely Mara The Suicide Squad That is correct I was yeah. pretty sure, but I wanted to wait till the chorus just to Oh, gun! Oh, God, I was thinking gun. Mara Takes Nailed the lead, it. 20 to 15. Uh, bonus question time. Do you want to be a dick or not? I kind of do, because I love this movie. <laughs> yes, that is the point of this game, baby. Do it. Um, all now right. This time, if I do it, though, I will not be a dick. Um, <laughs> so you are going to be a dick this time? I am, yes. I'm just head and shaft. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Full on, baby. <laughs> Full on. All right. Um, all right. Here's your bonus question. The Suicide Squad did how much business at the box office, both domestic and international? And parenthetically, don't forget, this was in the middle of a pandemic, and I'll give it to you if you're within 25 million. Oh, 20, dear. 20, you need to be within 25 cents, he meant. 25 cents. 25 <laughs> mil. Dan is going to be so mad. What is yeah. the box office within 25 oh, million, both domestic and international, the total <laughs> combined? Don't forget this was in the middle of a pandemic. Mara's trying to think back to Dan's episode of, of box office. I am. Um... <laughs> That's a toughie. It is some well, it's a penalty for being a dick. Some of these are easy. I'm... Some of these are hard. <laughs> no way. And shaft. Head and shaft. Head and um... shaft, exactly. Forgot about the balls. <laughs> uh 420 million. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. It made, according to Box Office Mojo, 167 million at the box oh, office. That's so criminal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Mara, you lose the points, which means we have a tie ball game at 15 points apiece. Boom, boom, boom. But you do have control, Mara. Where would you like to go next? Number two or number four? Four, please. Four. That was my number. It is. She's stealing your thunder. We're just, we're in the same headspace, man. <laughs> it's like our uh, training sessions. Yes. All right. Your clue is he's no saint. He's no saint. I can hear what you're thinking. All your doubts and fears. And if you look in my eyes in time, you'll find the reason I'm here. And in time, all things shall pass away. In time, you may come back someday to live once more. Or to die once more. But in time, your time. Be no more. I can give you another clue. Sure. A song of ice and fire. He's no saint. A song of ice and fire. Why am I not? This one was a tough one, in my yep. opinion. Um, so if you having trouble with it i you know this one was a tough one i'll give you one more clue revenge porn oh it's kevin kevin he's no saint um saints and sinners club that is the punisher 2004 Beautiful. that is correct wow. that's the song that he played mar that's the song that yeah. that guy's playing in the diner yeah <laughs> I knew it was yeah. familiar. Never would have been able to place it. That was excellent. Yeah, and the string there that you gave there, it's Saints and Sinners Club. Bing, 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 bang. Yeah, they'll say, yeah, it was, I, I was, a re at first I was listening to make sure you weren't going to sing Kiss from a Rose, because then I was going to do the Saint um, Val Kilmer. Mm -hmm. I like the John mm -hmm. <laughs> So then when that didn't happen, then I was like, I have nothing. What was the second clue again? Oh, the Ice and Fire. Fire. Ice and Fire, because of the torture scene. Torture scene yeah. Lollipop Optical. and burning. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like, think city's getting burned. That's yeah, I, I thought that was a bit, of a, a bit of a weird clue that I put together, but I was like... Uh, I'd say I like it because if you remotely keyed in, be like, oh yeah, the torture scene. Yeah, yeah, it's the only kind of real scene that res- like not resonated. I don't go around torturing, but it was like I really remembered that scene from... <laughs> that you're willing to resonate. admit to. I got you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to know Mar when we come back next season. Who, what the name of that guy is playing the guitar? And I forget it right now. Why would we do that to you? No I one know. cares about that information on this oh, show. Oh, it's this. It's the not life on we this live. Show, thankfully, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, fine. Not on this one. Other shows go crazy, get into the minutia. This one is just like let's just listen to Andy play some music and uh, guess some songs and have some fun. Get lost in his yeah. voice. Get lost. I think it was Mark. Back. Mark Colley is the name of the guy. Oh, uh, looks like Andy just scored some points. That's the actor or the character name. Well, the guy, I think the guy that wrote the song then ended up performing gotcha. it or something because like it was written for this film. Yikes. Um, all right, uh, Kevin, bonus question. You have a 25 to 15 lead. Do you want to be a dick or not? Oh, no. I, I as I uh, am a man of my word, I will not be a dick on this one. All right. It's open to both of you. Buzz in if you think you know the answer. Here's your bonus question The Punisher stars Re- Rebecca Romaine and Ben Foster. Who went on to star in what Kevin. comic books? Kevin. X Men series. And if you're asking, X Men The Last Stand. Uh, I was going to say series, but that, yes, five points to Kevin. Nice. That's so, awesome. All right. 30 to 15 with one question left in the opening round. Your clue is absentee parent absentee parent it's not time to make a change just relax Kevin. Kevin. um that is guardians of the galaxy volume two that is correct for 10 points i just saw that movie like a week ago so it's funny because I watched the first Guardians yesterday as some prep and I did not watch the second one. Not that it would have necessarily helped, but I clearly I chose poorly. Are you saving the other clues for later? Because as a fan, I want to hear what your other clues were. Or are you going to save that for other matches? Probably. We save them for it. Just save okay. us more work later on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can send you the screenshots, Kev, if you want later. Yeah. 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 Well, no. If, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'd love that. We'll never use the same film <clears throat> for you again, so. Yeah. Uh, Assuming you come just, back. Just to be a geek and see if we were coming up with the clues and the puns and all that stuff takes the most time and is the most frustrating for both of us. <laughs> so we'd rather not give it away and create more work for ourselves in the future if we can help it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, happily, I can just copy and paste and send it over. Mara, that offer is open to you as well if you're interested. Well, you share with Kevin, then Kevin. And then I'll, me. I'll, I'll, I'll quiz her in our training sessions. So that's right. <laughs> Trickle down effect. Um, all right. Last bonus question, Kevin. Technically, it's time to be a dick, but time to be a dick. Let's do it. All right. Here is your bonus question. The score is 40 to 15 right now. This is only for Kevin. Michael Rooker has appeared in one other film with Sylvester Stallone and one other film with Kurt Russell. Name either. Uh, The answer is not Sting. Uh, Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. And that, uh, that opening scene terrified me as a kid. That with the teddy bear and the the or the the hanging off the wire. Oh, brutal! This is so <laughs> dope. Uh, that is correct for five points. So there it is. Um, after the first round, it is forty-five to fifteen in Kevin's favor. But Mara, there is more than enough game to make this up. JTE was down by this much the last time he played and came back and won the game. So yeah. it is entirely possible. Uh, is all right. Is everybody ready for round two? Yeah. Yes. Right, let's jump right in round two. So this is the five second round. And the way it works is, Mara, since you're in second place, you will have choice of one through five, where to start. I will give a clue and Andy will play uh, the first five seconds. Now, it could be from the middle of the song, could be from the end, but he'll play five seconds. If you can place that and guess the movie that it's from, it's worth 10 points in the first five seconds. Otherwise, if we have to go to the second five seconds of music, it is only worth five points. And technically, you only get one guess per question in this round, although we're kind of lax on that. But wait for me to tell you, you have a second guess before you just start rifling in guesses. Uh, but let's just play by the rule. You only have one until I tell you you have another. So, uh, Mara, one through five, where would you like to start this round? This many. 
this many it is three for the lady started three last time we're starting number of yoda's this hands time. right isn't that yoda Yoda's. oh yeah well his fingers yeah hold on i can't even do it right now yeah like that is it three? Oh. That's yeah like normal, so. right? yeah <laughs> how on I earth does he hold a lightsaber man seriously <laughs> Yeah, well, he still has the opposability. So even with three, he's got that. He's still part of the opposable thumbs club. Um, and if that comes up in an inner geekdom, you guys are ready. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> How many Thank fingers you. does Yoda have? I don't know. Uh, anyway, your clue to open the second round. Don't forget, you get uh, 10 points if you guess it in the first five seconds. Is of mice and men. Of mice and men. So long and thanks for all the fish. So sad that it should come to this. Mara? Mara. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? That is correct for 10 points. Wow. All I was right. I was worried for a second because I was like, it's not an inner geek to visit really that. And I was like, of course it's that. It's still geek. It's still it is. Geek. I agree. Um hi buddy. All right, so that takes the score 25 to 45. And Mara, you still maintain control. One, two, four, or five. Where would you like to go next? One. One it is. Your clue is... Ooh, I like a couple of these, Andy. Um, I'm going to say the architect of my reality. What to say, what to say, what to say, what? What to say, what to say, what to say, what? No loss, no losing points for guess, right? No yeah. losing, but if... But then I can't guess if another one. Until I tell you, you can guess again. So if you guess and get it wrong, then Mara has all the I'm cards. i see if Mara, Mara, let's see. Mm. So you have something cooking. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Do you want to hear those next five seconds? Do either of you want to make a guess? You can do whatever you like. If we go to the next five seconds, it's only worth five points, though. I don't know if they consider this geek. <laughs> I have a guess. You have a choice. What's what guess would you, would you like? Is the hint is architect of reality? Uh, the architect of my reality. Total guess, and it's not an inner geek the movie, but. Uh, that we have to worry about, but mm -hmm. I'll be very proud if I get this. Kevin, Inception. That is incorrect. Oh, okay. that is oh, incorrect. Wow. It's not a bad guess. That is a good guess. And I think that would qualify as a you know geek movie, mm -hmm. personally. But that's just me. Um, so Mara, you can guess or you can choose to hear the next five seconds of music. Uh, and Kevin is out until I tell him he can guess again. So what would you like to do? Oh well. Because I'm sure that I would guess incorrectly, I will opt, uh, since I have some autonomy here, to hear five more seconds. Because I right. feel like perhaps I might know this at that point. Five it is, and it's not worth five points. Here's your next five seconds. Come like a bomb. Come like a bomb. I mean, it's just, just not. <laughs> I know I less it. now. Yeah, it's a, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. Um, let me let me think of something. I'll tell you that "Calm Like a Bomb" is the name of the track. I will. Yeah. Tell you that. What's it called? The track "Calm called? Like a Bomb." Buddy, come on, you're killing me here. Um, <laughs> golly, That's, this is all very confusing. Um, if you want, I can give another clue, but then Kevin can guess again. Hi, Mara. You, I'm you right can, here. Guess again. <laughs> you can guess without him, and then I can give a second clue. So you can get a free guess right now. And true, true, true. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to take a free guess. Um, Might as well. This is not right, but I just I can't think at all of what it could be. I'm just going to say Total Recall. That is incorrect. Yeah, that is incorrect. All right, so second clue. First one was the architect of my reality. Your next clue is Lawrence and the Machines. Uh, oh, Mara. Kevin. Mara. Uh, Batman 89. That is incorrect. 
Oh crap! Mm, Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I mean, I know that all that music is not that, but I thought the Lawrence thing might have might have been a thing. Okay, so Kevin, it's Lawrence Fishburne. It's got to be one of the Matrix movies. I hope it's. If you're asking for the exact one, yes, uh, you are. Yes. <laughs> are you sure? Because you know, I am three of them. pretty sure. I mean, we took the time to write down and then hunt it. It's only ends up in one well, specific movie in the franchise. God, my heart says the third one, Revolutions, but I just have a feeling you guys aren't that cruel and are going to quiz us on the sequels, although I like them. So I'm going to say The Matrix, final answer. That is incorrect. Oh, no! That is incorrect. The Matrix uh, was the first thing I thought of with the first clue, and I was Wait, like, she can I get don't it now, right? any of this music. She no, can't get about. it. Oh. Sorry yeah, she what can't was get it? it? Revolutions? Reloaded, Reloaded the second one. Good. So oh, that's good. I okay. didn't even think. Uh, because that's where we meet the architect. Yeah. And he tells Neo about the nature of the matrix. And then that is that is what you brought up before, I think, off air, Mara, which is that's the closing credit song. It immediately cuts to calm like a bomb and then yeah. from the Lukowski's. Uh I should get a third of the points, the one third <laughs> discount. Because you got a third of the title? No one's ever asked for a third. Wait, you didn't, wait, I didn't. Oh, I did. And you know what? I can't even pull final answer because I said final answer. I should have said, no, I wasn't finished. I was going to say reloaded. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. To backtrack on it. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. <laughs> um, all right. Well, um, nobody gets the points on that. But Mara, you still have control. We have uh, number two, four, and five. Where would you like to go next? Um, Two. Uh, two, it is. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Your clue for number two is the battle within. The battle within. Kevin. Kevin. Spider Man 3. That is correct for 10 points. He did the dance. Mar, should we do the dance? <laughs> oh, no. I, we're we're going to oh. act like that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Parker is the coolest right now. And he blew oh. it. The same hot girl that walked by him earlier gave it, liked him, and then he, he blew it. Uh, I, she is the better for it. Um, <laughs> all right, Kevin, you got the points on that. The score is 55 to 25, and we have numbers four and five left in the second round. Where would you like to go next? Four. Four, it is. Your clue is the circle of life. The circle of life. Home is behind the world. Kevin. Kevin. Return of the king. That is correct for 10 points. It's Billy funny, Boyd. I told Dan that was going to be a song. <laughs> Andy, can you sing the rest really? of that? We wanna, I don't want to shortchange you. That's a good song. We want to hear it. All right. Well, I only learned five seconds, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next one Either is like, that uh, one, Into the West, or... Oh, yeah, uh, we've done Into the West a couple of times, I think, now. Yeah, yeah. or the, the Ed Sheeran one, but I've never heard uh, either of yeah. those two songs before. I just I know them fire. because I have to know what movies they're in. <laughs> right, right. Smart. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the first time this song's fire. come up. Did we still IC Fire? We've done IC Fire. Okay. Uh, and uh, the people on that show did not get it. If memory you did serves. Song of the Lonely Mountain, too. Yes, we did. Wow. Um, all right. I learned, them, got... I learned them with such short term memory that I just I forget. I mean, oh, you forget. Out. Well, I just like, yeah, I learned 15 tracks in an hour and then it's wow. gone. Wow. That's so cool. You got to do, <laughs> do it behind the scenes. You should do a behind the scenes. You should do a behind the scenes video of how you come up with the. The whole process. Yeah, we've we talked about it for sure. Uh, yeah, we just, just do so much of it separate, considering he's five thousand miles away. <laughs> well, so, whose fault is that? Different time zone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Brexit. Exactly. exactly. Oh, uh, <laughs> you could have had free reign over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly whose fault that is, but uh, we're talking Brexit. We're talking World War Three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and seventeen seventy six. We got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Um, all right, so we have one left in this second round. Are we not doing that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your final clue 
in the second round is heir apparent. Heir apparent. Ding, 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 Mara. ding, ding. Mara. Uh, Spaceballs. That is correct for 10 points. Hey! I love that movie. <laughs> Uh, I would love if you're like, and I also told Dan they were going to do Dink Dink from Spaceballs. And be like, <laughs> wow, that is amazing. I wish I could have said that. Um, yeah, it's the first iteration of uh, Spaceballs on the show as well. Nice. Um, so wow. congratulations. All right, so that takes us to 65 to 35 at the end of the second round. It is still anybody's game, so let's jump into round three. All right, so round three is the betting round. Nice. And Kevin, you will open the bidding in this. You'll choose one through five once again. I will give a clue. And then, Kevin, you'll open with the number of notes that you think you can guess this movie's song in. You're still guessing the movie itself. Three notes is the minimum. The max is how many ever you'd like it to be. Okay. The point values are at three notes and above, it's worth 10 points. Two notes, 15. One note, 20. And zero notes, if you want to guess based solely on the context clue, it is worth 25 points. If you get the question wrong, your opponent steals the points. And finally, you have a lifeline to ask for an extra clue that you can use at any time, but you only have one of those. So, uh, you know, be judicious as to when you use it. Okay. So, Kevin, one through five, where would you like to open the third round? I will open at three. At three again? Well, three straight. Um, it's a good number. It is a good number. <sighs> Your clue is third times the charm. Third times the charm. <clears throat> so how many notes would you like to open with, Kevin? Uh, let's open with 16. 16. Mara, over to you. 15 or fewer. Tell him to settle the score. 10. 10. Kevin, what would you like to do? This is for 10 points. Wait, so 10. Sorry. It's for 10 points at yes. three notes and above. All right. Eight. So you can go eight notes. All right. Mara, over to you. And don't forget, if somebody gets it wrong, the other person gets the points. Seven. Settle Seven. the score, my friends. Settle All right. the score. <laughs> he was waiting on that. Let's see how disastrously this goes. <laughs> All right. Seven notes it is. Only Mara can answer with <clears throat> 10 points. And your clue again is third time is the charm. Third time is the charm. Definitely the hardest of the bunch, I think. Yeah, I think so too. You do have a lifeline. And you can hear it again if you like. Can I hear it again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so familiar. Mm -hmm. Third times the charm. You have a lifeline if you want another clue. You could hear it again if you like. Yeah, I can hear it one more time. I don't know mm -hmm. if it will help, but... <laughs> I 
I mean, I guess I'll use my lifeline because if not, I guarantee I give him points. Uh, and I is hmm. super familiar, but I can't place it. Um, all right, Andy, give him a bonus clue. Ooh, okay. Sorry, Matt. Which one did you um, do already? Which letter did you do uh, B. I did B. Okay, cool. Um, let's go with um, getting medieval on that ass. Getting medieval on that ass. That's also really familiar. I'm sure this is easy when you put it all together. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get it. I, yeah, it'd be tough. I think I need like uh, three, four more notes. It's weird because like part of it is that you're using movies that are like geeky, but outside IG, and so my brain doesn't know how to find them because usually we have a limited number of options, and so you can go through wheel slices and be like, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this, and my brain doesn't know how to find anything else. It's Hence, really, really familiar. Earlier. I've been watching geek movies for the last four yeah. years. I haven't been able to realize that police is led by this by sting yeah I, I never would have known that i it's funny i know all the words to songs <laughs> but i can't tell you it. who sings them or what the, the title of the song is i it's just weird what i don't know about popular music um i i don't know do you want to take a guess i mean you might as well otherwise you can't lose any points third time's a charm get medieval on the ass God, that it's weird. That all sound that, that sounds so familiar. The music and the second clue. I'm sure that that's a quote from the movie that I'm just not thinking of. And I'm assuming it's a third part of a franchise of some kind. <laughs> um, I can't think possibly of what it would be though. Um, who has three movies? Um, what are you thinking? That we're gonna talk about yet. Um, <clears throat> How about my mind is blank. Um, I, I, I don't know. I can't think of what third movie it could be. I don't know. You want me to move on? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, all right. Uh, that is the theme from Army Blade of Darkness. Trinity. Oh, Army Army of of okay, so. I didn't. I was gonna say Blade Trinity. <laughs> See, I was gonna say Blade Trinity, bro. Seriously. That's what I, I, I thought you were gonna say. It. Yeah. Army of to be fair, I said, What's I've that? Yeah, so tough, so tough. That's a tough one. Oh, yeah. I, I've never seen it. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's funny though, because I thought of it and I was like, "Well, that's horror." And so I didn't think I should have just said it. Uh, the third one is comedy. It's not, there's a little horror to it, but it's like geeky. There's time travel involved. There's, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I heard I should watch it, that I'd like it. Yeah, it's it's my favorite of the three, but. Really? I don't like horror and oh. that movie's not horror. So it's easily my favorite. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Yeah, that was probably the, that and Punisher are probably the two toughest in the game, in my opinion. But. And to try it with seven notes too, like that was yeah, 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 for sure, that was tough. I mean, if it's something that I've heard before, then I I, I stand a decent chance. But that was a that was yeah. a very bad bet. It's all right though. Still a lot of game left. Uh, Kevin got the points on that and maintains control of the board. So three is gone. One, two, four, and five. Where would you like to go next? Uh, let's go one. All right, number one. It is. <clears throat> Your clue is, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, man. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. Andy, what do you like on this one? I like A, B, D, F, H. Mm. Uh, By the way, we have all the way to J for clues. Just so yeah, cra know. crazy amount of clues. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a big one for. Yeah, I, I, I actually thought of doing A, and then I noticed on your 
list already. So, okay, that, all right, that one works. Yeah, all right. Uh, your clue is the next generation. The next generation. So, Kevin, how many notes would you like oh, to open man. the bidding with? Well, I think Mara is gonna. This is this is what we're thinking, unless it's or is throw it? us off. The funny this, thing is. All right. No, no. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk. It, this is all scores right now. This is not singing Correct. anymore. It's all scores. So that takes out first contact from you. That, then you do magic carpet, right? Or ooby dooby. Um, I'm going to just start and just see where Mara's head's at. I'm going to start with 21 notes, Mara. 21 right. notes. Blackjack, right. over to you, Mara. All right. I'm just going to say this right now. I want to explain my thought process. I have not firmly decided yet, but there was one theme that's one of my most favorite pieces of music ever written in movies that is in a TNG movie. And I told Dan, I was like, if they were smart, they would do this because it is so specific to this movie and it's beautiful and it's haunting and gorgeous. And if you've seen this movie and you love it, you would know it. And I am tempted to, to guess just based on I the clue like and hope I, that my gut reaction was true. Let me tell you this. We will never say the movie's title in any capacity in the clue itself. Well, technically, you didn't say the name of the movie in the yeah, title yeah. and in that clue at all. True. True. Because technically, next it's generation the, it's is the not first in any contact. Of it's the first contact theme, isn't it? If you That's that what first, I'm thinking. It is. Yeah, it's a great uh, theme. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> beautiful. Um, <laughs> this is the level that we're at. And by the way, we could be completely off. But if you're playing that theme, she can get it in two notes i was gonna say i could definitely get it in uh, oh, but part of me is like do i just i'm already losing by a heavy margin um You're down by 40 points right now you know oh. what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna say that i think it is star trek first contact and i think well, it's that french horn wow. from the opening credits you have to bid down to how many of her want to and then kevin can't well, no, i want her. i want to okay fine i guess i well crap i guess i'm technically giving it to well i want to say zero i'm gonna say zero <laughs> okay zero so then kevin if yeah. you want to do it you have to give me the title of the movie plus the director. She oh well. Oops. Oh yeah, we get we get that too. Um, yeah, well then we go with top build actor, second build actor. We go back and forth until. Oh, I did. I misunderstood the assignment at this point. Okay, cool. That's right. <laughs> right. But half of me is like, look, I could play the field. She might. We might both be way off. There's next generations of other things too. Next generation of superheroes. That's true. And and it's your favorite song, Mara, and it's the holidays, and I love you. So I'm gonna let Mara go ahead and settle the score. Okay, uh, on zero notes, what is your official guess, Mara? My official guess is Star Trek First Contact. Sadly, that is incorrect. Oh, that's all right, that though. You incorrect. know what? I would rather put my eggs in the, uh, in the basket pre- of beautiful musical hope. Listen, mm. that's, that literally was my game plan going in. Is in the f- f- final round, I was going to do something similar. So, <laughs> I have added yeah, First yeah, Contact to our list, though, Mara. So, Do you know now, the piece are- of music I'm talking about? No, let me mute myself and listen to it. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a movie, but I can't think of the song. <laughs> that uh, it, Mara? I sang it. Yeah, right. that's it. That's exactly the the one I'm thinking of. Are you uh, gonna you're... be? Is he gonna be able to play the song at all so we could hear it or no? Uh, I mean, sure. I don't know if he's free. listening to this the Star Trek song now. No, no. I'm saying, is he gonna be able to play the what was? Or are you gonna say originally? That yeah, for... chosen. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Yeah. yeah. See if you can get it. Free for. Free. Yeah, yeah. I'll fun. play that. What's is it is is the movie the first contact thing got a um a name Mara? I'll I'll quickly play the one we were gonna do. Uh <laughs> is it look that look part of the main title, right? Yeah, I think it's just Star Trek first contact. Yeah, here, okay. hold on. <laughs> that was a ballsy that's just something that I would do. So mm. that's I thought she had it to be honest. Ah uh, well it's, that was me because process. the other two, the other three the other three movies don't really have a specific <clears throat> theme attached to them. And so okay, hold on a second. Well, she, she's just she's muting it to not give you a copyright infringement. That's that's she's, that's class. You know, it's class. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to uh, get a copyright strike. This is gonna get millions of views because of Marvel, I hope so. so. Uh, I certainly hope so. Uh <laughs> So yeah, oh, it's yeah. the main title slash Locutus, um, first track. Um, it's past the overall intro, and then there's like a little French horn suite that starts. That's the the theme that I'm talking about. You okay. should give her the points. She deserves it. No, 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 she, no, no, no. She no. knows there's a French horn. Come on. Well, that's because I played all the music things. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would give her the points, but it wasn't the movie we were looking for, so it seems kind of. Well, yeah, it's totally to counterintuitive game. to to the show, bro. 
Um, <laughs> uh, Andy, you want to play him the other tune? See if they can get it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Next generation. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. I know exactly what it is. Yeah. I figured one of the two of you would know it. Uh, what is it? I, I'm blanking. So it's Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest. No, yeah, I haven't gotten to that yet. Part of the new move. That's part of the new IG this year. I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, is it? It's a good one. Yeah, I love it. Never, uh, never love give it. up. Never surrender. That's right. By Grapthar's oh. hammer. Please, please watch uh, Never Surrender, the documentary about Galaxy Quest, uh, produced by Dan. <laughs> really? I will. Is it on? Uh, it's on Prime, I think. Okay. Yeah, I will. I'll watch it as part of the yeah. There we got a whole new list, Matt, of new movies they added. They added like oh, they tell you specifically. Here's they have they, what's in canon for this. Now year? they do. Yeah, they used to have a list. It used to be 200. Then they upped it when I was away for my fight. It was they upped it to 300. 296. Right? 296, and now it's up to 350. But the 50 new movies, Galaxy Quest is one of them. Okay. So. They're basically the other... completely distorting what IG is supposed to be by having us memorize every single depth and detail about twice as many movies as we started with and expecting us to do well. Yeah. So then the other 300 are still in play. Yeah. And All now right, we have look... to add 50 more movies on top of. Okay. Yeah. Let's... Yeah. Last time I was in IG, by the way, that was, uh, it was two nine or I'm sorry, it was 200. So I have 150 movies new since my time in the IG. So. Uh, that's why Mara that. and I have been leaning on each other. We're helping each other out. Here. I would, yeah. It's good to have a study buddy, I guess, in that instance. Um, all right, well, Kevin, you got the points on that, which means you <laughs> maintain control. Okay. We have numbers two, four, and five left. I haven't given you the number two today, so let's do that one. All right. <clears throat> no, I think I did. Maybe I did. That's yeah. I don't remember to be honest. I don't remember either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I gave you five and one. And three so and four so this is <laughs> yeah let's do it all right uh number two it is your clue is the spies have it the spies have it so kevin how many notes would you like to open the bidding with 47 47 <laughs> Good gravy. I want to hear some music. <laughs> you you robbed us. Flash around. Just kidding. 47 uh, notes. Mar, what would you like to do? 30. 30. All right, Kevin. 22. 22. 15. 15. Settle the score. All right. score. All right. Once again, it is the spies have it. What if we were so good at music, Mara, that we would be able to know what he's playing right now already, even if it's muted? Oh, my you God. I, I never thought like, to do so, that. <gasps> we got to learn no, how to play the piano. piano. I never thought to do that. I'm such oh, a good so. person. I wouldn't have helped. I, I'm, I'm... <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to lose one. I'm I actually... can't play a lick of piano. I was just li I was just listening to first contact. I wasn't. Oh, playing he's the... playing. So your next answer would be first contact. Actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the French horn piece from first contact. Yeah, I only had a quick listen, but yeah, it's very beautiful. Wow, you're you're very talented, my friend. Oh, thank you. I don't even know which number we're on. Oh, yes, I do. And how many <laughs> notes is it? Uh, now I'm lost. How many notes did we settle on? 15? I 15. thought it was okay. 1.5. 1.5, I think you mm. carry the decimal point. We no. don't do fractals that I know oh, of yeah. on this show. Um, all right, so 15 notes, and your clue is the spies have it. Okay. He's working out the 15 notes now. Now, if you could guess... That would Got be it. Good. Yeah, I, I'm it. not yeah. paying attention to it. I'm being a good person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know it. I 
I know. Of it. course you, you know do. It. You got it. No, I, I, ha- I have absolutely no idea. Um, I'd love to hear it again for probably no reason whatsoever. Uh, no, you, you'll get that. You'll get that. You'll get okay. that. I think you must th- th- think that my brain would recognize that, but it, I have no idea what that is. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to get it, but I'm just cu- like, Kevin, you're going to get these points. Um, but I'm just curious. Is this an IG movie? Yes. Yes. yes oh, it is. Well, it's in the list. Oh, it's I, on the I list. Don't know. By happenstance, we didn't know it was on the list, but uh, yeah, they don't know, they don't know their list. No, 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 I know. I just meant that, uh, like if it was a movie that wasn't on the IG list, like Army of Darkness, where it's like, oh, they're yeah, 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 probably yeah. never seen it, so that's probably why I don't recognize it. No, I just don't recognize it because I'm bad. I could be wrong too, but I'm pretty, I'm uh, 98% sure. No, you're so good at scores and soundtracks. Um, this was actually a very good strategy on you. I would not get any right, <laughs> and so you just get points by not having to do oh, anything. I feel like, yeah. No, it's a good tactic. No clue. Do you want to take a guess? I mean, the spies have it. I don't, I have no idea. (laughs) All right. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, what what is is it? The Rocketeer. That is correct. Oh, that's actually not on the list anymore, Kevin. Or, well, it's getting it back to that again, I guess. Maybe. No, it's, it's got to be, right? It wasn't on the list last year. Really? Also, I, I love the movie, it. but I've I've only seen it twice. So mm-hmm. I would never I would never have recognized that. You could have played me the whole song. No, no clue. <laughs> of course, the one song I know is the song that I screw myself over and I don't get to answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good theme. That's Horner, right? James Horner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I grew up with this movie, like as one of my favorites too. So, and, and but yeah. Oh, I didn't see it until I met Dan. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Kevin, you got the points on that, and you still have control. We have two questions left in this final round. Number four and five. Where would you like to go next? Let's go five. Five. It is. Your clue is the Hurt Locker. The Hurt Locker. So you're opening the bidding again, Kevin. How many notes would you like to start with? Is this a Jeremy Renner movie, or is there a locker in a movie we don't remember? Uh, 15. All right. Mara? Fourteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. I kind of want to answer one now, but I don't want to get too low. Uh, well, since I'm mathematically eliminated, this does not hurt me to do. Um, twelve. It's true. Um, I mean, there's two left, so you could increase by fifty points. Uh, it's still out of the cards, but it's you know, you could cut the lead significantly. You said 12? I did, yes. 11. We can't have all the fun. (laughs) (laughs) I want to have all the fun. I just want to let you have challenging fun. (laughs) 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 Let that be my quote for the end of the year 2021. That's the year 2021. I want to let you have fun, but challenge. I have have zero confidence in this. (laughs) I I just, I. Remind me to tell you the movie that I had in my head the second when I first heard the the thing. Nine. All right, settle score, bro. I want to. Oh, Oh, you got bro too. Got bro. Okay. All right, nine. Please play me the theme to Men in Black. Thank you. (laughs) Uh, And you do have a lifeline, Kevin, if you want to use it. There's only two questions left. Your clue again is the Hurt Locker. Okay. Would 
you like to hear that again? Uh, yeah, please. You can play a couple more notes if you want, just for fun. <laughs> I don't think those two notes are at the end, but <laughs> I didn't specify. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, any notes? Yeah. The hurt locker is your clue. You do yeah. have your lifeline. I don't think even with another clue, I'm going to get this because I. So I am going to not use my next lifeline. Okay. Because I'm sure Mar and I are going to vie for to guess next the next one we'll probably go down to one or two notes um you know what i'll do a lifeline let's do it because why not sure mm -hmm. all right andy <clears throat> dealer's choice okay one with the title of the movie in it is ideal <laughs> okay um let's go with um playing with your organ in private Playing with your organ in private. I'm going to... Okay, first thing that came into my guess, and I love that soundtrack, but I don't know if it's it. Edward Scissorhands? That is incorrect. The points go to Mara. That is incorrect. Oh, yeah. The organ player. What was it? Oh, oh yeah. Can we hear more? Yeah. My other guess was Hugo. No. I will tell you this the star of Edward Scissorhands is also the star of this movie. Oh. Is it from hell? From Very hell qualify because it's a graphic novel. Yeah. Okay. We have to know every... can... um, Sadly, <laughs> we have to know everything about that damn movie. It I might... like that movie. It might yeah. work. It's depressing. Exactly. Oh. I love depression. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, Sleepy Hollow. Incorrect. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Incorrect. everyone. Like <laughs> write down his IMDb. Why not? This is so familiar. Oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that it? No, no, no. Nope. Okay, no. I'm done. I'm, I'm not allowed to guess anymore. Yeah, I love it. Blow. Is it blow? <laughs> <laughs> I I can't place it. I gotta tell you this: the character plays it on an organ, and then also there's a music box that plays the same chime. I was gonna say I can, I knew it was a music box, but I can't. Um... I can hear him playing this. Oh, movie has so. a music box. <laughs> I'm out of guesses, Mara. You got it's. We're, it's up to you. You, well, Mara, you already got the points, but can you place it? It's weird because I immediately knew I was like, this is a song playing from a music box. But I couldn't. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> okay, I can't stop. Cut me off. I'll mute myself. <laughs> Apparently, I was a very poor choice for the show. I don't. No, know. <laughs> never, never. We've had we've had much worse. What is uh, it? That is, it was the Davy Jones's theme from Pirates ah! Two: Dead Man's and Chest. You should know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Why? Why? That's that. that everybody in the <laughs> IG is licking their chops. They're like, oh, they don't know. Why did I that <laughs> Dang it. Even you know how many times I've watched those shitty movies? <laughs> those are those are new ones added since I've been there. So yeah. that's that's uh, part of the new crop. First one's good, movies. by the way. The, the yeah, first one's good. Diminished um, returns. I I <laughs> turned <laughs> off <laughs> the last one, the Javier Bardem, a uh, Bardem one. I couldn't mm. watch it. It was it was so bad. Oh, but you're gonna need to know the name of the ship, and you're gonna need to know the name. Ah, thankfully, I don't need to know any of that shit. So. <laughs> oh, I know all those, bro. You give me the ships, I know them. <laughs> um. All right. Well, there's Damn. one left. 
Mar, you got the points in that, so you will open the bidding on this final one. Okie dokie. Um, and you both used a lifeline, so there's no lifelines left. Your final clue is checkmate. Checkmate. So how many notes would you like to open the bidding with, Mara? God, this immediately this clue could be like three different things very specifically that are very different. Why don't we say um, 30? 30? 30, all right. Four, four, 40. 40, 40. 40. I, uh, should I go all in and do Amara and do zero? Because Checkmate makes me think of a movie, but. I know, right? Doesn't it? Do you, you know want to do it? You know what movie it? I'm thinking of. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think you know what th movie I'm thinking of, but they I already did that series in this. They already did that series in this match. So that leads me to believe they wouldn't do that twice. We don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe not. I don't, you know. All right. I'm going to go. I know fans want to hear him play the music, but. I'm gonna go, afterwards anyway. Yeah. I'm right. going to go zero, right? Am I, do I win anyway? Or am I in the... Oh, you yeah, have, yeah. You I'm have won the game. Yeah. Oh, I'm going zero, and I'm saying Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for checkmate. But I was going to say X-Men, the end of X-Men checkmate. But well, technically... I'm, I'm going to settle oh. the score. He oh, can shoot. do that. Okay. okay. Right. Say, technically, <laughs> she could come back and be like, you oh, you think that was right? Uh, well, you want to do it? Come on, Mara. We could do no, the... No, no, no. You can <laughs> settle the score, man. I want you to have your moment. And this time, I want you to get it. <laughs> All right, um, so your official guess is Harry how, Potter. Has anyone ever done it on one note, by the way? Like, you just press one key? Uh, I don't put it on one note. Zero notes a few times, yes. Yeah. And, like, two notes like, maybe once. Yeah, because uh, the one note would be like, okay. I mean, so those are the two movies that I had in my mind in, uh, just to speak out loud. And <laughs> Bar, you can totally steal this. But X-Men, they already did it in this match. They wouldn't do that twice. So I'm going all in. I'm going to go zero notes. Why not? Let's have fun. Mara did it. I'll have fun. I'm going to say Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and it's the uh, checkmate uh, with Ron Weasley uh, sacrificing himself in Wizard's Chess. Did I get it right? We haven't used X-Men in this match. What? Uh, <laughs> didn't we? It was a bonus question. It was a bonus so... question. We have not used X-Men oh. in this match. Oh, well, I can't. I already said it. But it's <laughs> now, like, now I think it's X Men. Now I'm confused. I'm no. gonna you go. technically have. Have you said final answer? That's no, I have established but, but I could have used his info to like sway me one way or the other. So I'm going all in. Andy's Sorcerer's like, Stone. I'm, I'm sure it's right X Men. Now. It's checkmate. Well, the future, Charles, not them. So you're saying <laughs> final answer? I'm is... saying final answer is Sorcerer's Stone, but I know it's X Men, and now I'm sad. Um, Sorcerer's Stone. Don't be sad, man. It's it's uh, this is a happy time. Let's rejoice. <laughs> uh, well, the answer is the Sorcerer's Stone. Congratulations, yeah! you got the points on that. <laughs> Dude, that was uh, epic. I think my dog's on the door. Dog the hemming and daughter. hawing, the back and forth. But it could be. I don't know. It's definitely this. What? Oh shit. Uh, my daughter wants to say hi real quick. <coughs> I, I, I have to get a prop really quick while he oh, gets his prop. Okay. This is there we go. Hi. That's my daughter. Hi. So I was waiting. If I won, you got to meet her. So that's very oh, good. That? So Mara will bring in her prop too. But that's funny. <laughs> so I, we just watched that literally last night. So I'm just start. I came back from uh, my uh, 15 months away. And so I've started the training again. Uh, and uh, oh, yeah, let's hear what you were going to play. Mary, sure, Mary, yeah. Adam. Or Andy, sorry. Yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. So if you had one note. Yeah. It would have been that? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's your one note. How about two notes? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess the final one. My wife's a fan now, too. I guess it on the, with no music hearing. Just the, the I had a theory. But yeah, the X Men, they end the X Men movie where he uh, checkmates and stuff. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, and the clue, you know, needs to tip the hand of what the movie is because they use that musical motif in all the movies. Yes. So you got to do one specific clue. Hey Mara, Mara, listen to him play it for Mara. Listen to him play it for two notes. Would you have gotten it? It's interesting. Just that. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, 
Uh, Dan gave me this for Hanukkah, by the way. Oh, wizards! Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so I had to go get the prop. Hey, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. She was knocking on the door right in the final round. Oh. Like, <laughs> uh, wow. She wanted in. She could wow, feel. That, that was a hell of a guess there. That was <laughs> awesome. You got what your a first way to get in the game, man. Uh, yeah. It's been quite a while since somebody has guessed on the, the clue alone. So congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. And you are today's big winner, Mr. Kevin Smets. Congratulations. <laughs> we're all winners. <laughs> we're all winners. Uh, we are. So long as everybody had fun, then we're all winners. Oh, That's it's so much fun. And I um, Like like Mara said, like I honestly, full transparency, I hadn't heard of the show until I talked to you at Spectacular or whatnot. And yeah. uh, my wife knows we went down the rabbit hole and watched so many of them. So, And I was right. doing so terribly at all of them that I was like, that's why I texted Mara. I'm like, hey, you're going to destroy me. So... <laughs> oh, when I listened to the horror one, I was like, okay, horror is like my favorite genre. I'm going to do great. It's like, oh my God, I know nothing. It was oh, what? So no, which, which horror episode was that? Um, The Cody uh, Christian oh, one. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. The, Bibiani, the Bibiani one was absolutely insane. I literally had not heard of the 15 films. Yeah. They asked us to go oh, wow. as hard as we could and I'm go. A, I'm a horror really? fan. It was unbelievable. Yeah. It was movies I had never even remotely heard of and went and watched for the show. And it was like, this thing is fucking weird. I love this. Uh, it's such a great concept of this. So I'm um, instant huge fan now. So I find that I'm much better at guessing the movie just from the clue when I'm not playing the game because I my brain is tailored to that because that's what they do on Hundred Thousand Dollar Pyramid, which is a show that I love. Huh? Okay. It's like it's sure. a weird category name and it kind of clues you into what they might ask, but not really. And so I'm used to kind of like tugging at a weird clue like that. Did not work this time. That's all right though. <laughs> There's always next time. And oh, uh, invited back. Okay, oh. you guys were great. Why wouldn't oh, we have you back? It was fun. I'm retired. I'm sorry. I'm retired, undefeated. So <laughs> that's it. Smart move. Smart I'm, move. I'm, you know yeah, what I mean? I don't know why what I'm doing coming back to the IG next season. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm retired. Walk away bad in a thousand. You know? <laughs> Just hey, you already got a W under your belt right before the season starts, man. That's the way to go into the season. You're already it's, a winner. It's, hey, mm. it's always fun running drills with you, Mara. So. Now, now we gotta we gotta take this momentum over and then and, and do our thing next season at the IG. Uh, when does that start? Is that coming up soon? Oh, next. thank goodness, no. Yeah, I thought it next was a ways season. off. Uh, I, I don't probably February for me. I know I I have a match coming, so. Well, you yeah. went, you got to start the journey back. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been uh, currently undergoing that. Mar knows, and uh, you know, there's this list of the new forty two. I call them um, that were together kind of coalescing and talking about them and stuff as, as they come. So, and then for me, I just have, <laughs> I kind of do all the other ones, the other 80, there's 82 or no ones. So there's like 130 or 140 new ones that I'm kind of getting myself familiar with. I'm pretty good on the base, the old stuff. So sure. now it's for me, the challenge has been um, getting, getting up to speed on the other stuff. So. All while being an incredible editor, a husband, oh. a father, and still going through, you know, li lingering things just to keeping up with your health. Oh, yeah. All of that and Schmodown. Oh, yeah. Chemo mm. does I'm a number to your Kevin. teeth, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I, I got like four different. Uh, I, I did want to do this show also to just raise awareness. So if I speak for a moment here, sure. you know, so about smashing cancer, it's all about awareness. And, I'm, you know, I don't care if I come out here and. If, I, if, if next season I, I lose every match, as long as at, in every match I talk about, you know, getting checked early is very important. I was for, I'm 42 years old, um, and they would say that uh, legally, not legally, but they would say the CDC would even say I don't need to come in until I'm 45. If I waited till I was 45, I would not live to be 46. So um, it's very important that you get in and check if you have any symptoms at all. Um, get in there, and you can uh, always. Uh, uh, I don't have my name up here. I can change my name. I think. Um, well, if it's what, uh, Twitter, uh, handle or something, yeah, Twitter the description. Hand. sure. Yeah. If you it just uh, reach out to me, I message everyone back and you can, I can talk about if you have any symptoms that you think are, uh, could be colon cancer, let me know. And I can give you the steps that you need to do get checked. Uh, it's very important that you get checked and you get checked early. Um, and I know that, uh, I've heard from many people that have gotten checked and caught something early, uh, and eliminated it. And so that's very important to me, um, that you, you know, Ryan, Remind yourself to do that. But uh, I bring that up because the last two weeks I've been going to the dentist almost twice a week for significant teeth, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, 
I, I brush every day. I floss, but I have to go through, because of chemo, two root canals so far, four crowns, seven cavities, because when chemo, it destroys your cells everywhere, your yeah. fingernails, your, your, your nerves, which I have nerve damage, everything, including my teeth, which I did not know. And uh, it's been crazy. So, you know, you know, there are lingering effects that continue to this day that I'm going to deal with, but um, I'm going to keep sharing it with everybody because as Mara knows, Amara, it's been great. I have, she made a thousand cranes for me, which uh, I don't know if you guys know that, that whole thing. If you fold cranes and you make a thousand of them, you can make a wish. And she made a wish for me to be healthy. Oh, wow. And be cancer. And it's something that moved me to no end. She knows that. Um, and if you look that up, you can Google that a thousand cranes. It's a, it's a story about a, a, a tiny a woman, a little Japanese woman, right? That died. Um, yes. She was a school child. Actually. Um, she was exposed to the radiation from the, uh, the bombing at Hiroshima. And before she passed away, she had said that she wanted to fold a thousand paper cranes. And sadly she wasn't able to, but her classmates finished them for her. And it became, became like a really positive, uh, aspect of Japanese folklore. So uh, I've done it, sadly, I think for two other persons besides Kevin. Luckily, uh, even though it's it's just a supportive thing, uh, positive outcomes all around. So, yeah. uh, and yes, she I made noted a thousand that of these for, for him. <laughs> Which is a lot insane. of grades. Um, and it's, I'm going to get these framed. You can get them framed or whatnot. It's, it means a lot to me. So I love Mara. Mara. Everyone knows how much I love Mara. So Kevin's uh, my best friend. Don't tell Dan. <laughs> Boom! Boom! <laughs> I was going to show that to you if you were beating me bad. I was going to hold it up and be like, "Yeah, exactly." Come on. Oh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, that's great! I love that as I a have... competitor. <laughs> what, what about this guy? Yeah, I have all. I was going to whip out all the stops against you, Mara. All right, you're next intimidating time, me to go against. I demand a rematch at some point, Anytime. and I'm going to bring so you much emotional it. manipulation. We'll, man. find, yes. we'll find a date that works. And uh, fantastic. We, just so you know, first contact will not be on there because that just seems too easy at this point. Or X Men. Well, no, X Men can. X Men can. X Men can. It's in the mix. <laughs> By the way, feel free. I know that at least for me, uh, if you are going to use any movies that are possibly in the geek space, just in regular matches, and you would like either suggestions or help making silly clues, please, please let me know. I love. Sure. I love yeah. stuff like. That. I could send you the uh, uh, my playlist of every geek. Yeah, do it. Geek radio yeah, song. for sure. Yeah, well, I added against, I mean, you know, the way we do it, the, it, it needs to play for long enough in a movie mm -hmm. to be recognizable so it's yeah. fair. Because, uh, oh, yeah. you know, if you go look at certain movies, they have a huge soundtrack, and then you go watch the movie, and it's like, yeah, well, that was on a radio in the background for three seconds. Like, that's yeah. not fair. <laughs> Nobody's getting that. Uh, Unless you're but, an energy <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, potentially. But, uh, yeah, uh, just to... Uh, reach out to me on my Twitter handle at Kev Smets. I re I respond to everyone. Uh, and it's very important to me, uh, that I do that. Um, if I'm going to go through hell watching, um, RIPD and men in black three, five times, uh, <laughs> I'm going to make sure that it's for a reason. So come, reach me out, uh, reach out to me and I'll definitely, uh, help you along. If, if you're feeling any symptoms or whatnot, reach out to me, smash cancer. Um, all right, well, please do. And the, if his Twitter handle will be in the descriptions along with Mars. Um, but, uh, okay. Uh, Mara, anything you want to say, let the people know about promote, whatever you like, the floor is yours, uh, before we get out of here. Uh, following up, uh, with what Kevin said. Also, if there's, uh, something that you thought that you might want to do for other people, please consider donating blood, uh, becoming a member of the bone marrow registry at be the match.org. Uh, it is, not what you see in TV and movies. It is a uh, very simple, painless, non-awake procedure. You could save somebody's life with something in your body that you have plenty of that they do not. Um, so please just consider being able to, if it's within your belief structure and within the spectrum of what's okay for you and your health, uh, donating blood or bone marrow. All right. Um, God, you guys are easily the two most positive nice people we've had on the show it makes everybody oh, else look like an know. asshole in the previous it's all right it's good uh we need more of this um all right we'll follow uh uh kevin it's at kev smets and mara at that mara and uh, make sure you pronounce the k when you meet her and don't go silent on it because that shit is wrong uh, just so you know uh andy anything you want to say before we get out of here um well peace <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is yeah. so totally English. <laughs> exactly, world peace, and I'll say, uh, let's end world hunger, and uh, there we go. <laughs>
Follow Andy at STS underscore Andy M. And you can follow me at Mad Nose. That is it for this week. Settle the score. Stay safe out there. Get the vaccine. Stay six feet apart. Wear your mask. Get your booster. Do all that stuff, please. Let's get the hell out of the, uh, to the other side of this nonsense. Uh, we'll see you guys next week with another edition of Settle the Score. Until then, adios.